Hi, Andrea. Simone here with the customized website audit you requested via Facebook. Before I jump into the three key strategies I'm going to go over today for you to take under consideration to start um, enhancing your site optimization and getting ranked on that first page of Google, I have to shout out just how beautiful uh, you have a very simple and um, stunning logo. Uh, you have your socials linked here, which actually they, they all, the links work. Um, I One recommendation would be to put a way to get in contact with you. I know you have the contact here, but um, something that's just really upfront and obvious so that folks don't really have to look for it because over 80% of prospects aren't actually going to scroll through your website and read through it. So this area right here is the most crucial for getting business. Um, but I had such a blast looking through your portfolio in this way. I mean, it's it's really stunning and it was just really fun for me to look through. So thank you for sharing your site. I'm going to be going over three key strategies today, which are content, citations, and backlinks. So before I explain how you need to optimize your content, I need to tell you about bots. There are bots crawling every single website on the internet 365 days a year, 24 seven. And the sweet spot of content for these bots is 1500 to 2000 words with a keyword every 150 words to tell Google exactly what terms you want your website found for. The more Google sees your site associated with specific keywords, the higher they will rank you for those words. And to be clear, a keyword is anything someone might type into Google looking for a particular service or product. Now this 1500 to 2000 range is not completely random. It has been tried and tested and true. It is the amount of content that bots prefer. So it gives them enough to crawl without you know, we're making them cautious that it's a scammy site that's overstuffing, meaning you're just trying to as quickly as possible, whether it's the content is actually related to the keyword or not, you're just the site's trying to rank as quickly as possible. And so the bots are wary of that kind of amount of content, which is why that 1500 to 2000 sweet spot is so useful. So I did a quick count in your Word count is sitting at 761 words right now, so that definitely be, would be an area to take into consideration. And lastly, I will say you, you have your area service area listed, but you do want to make it quite obvious in your, um, not just like your main header here, but in your like eight, your other headers, the H2, H3 headers on a page because you really want Google to know where you can be found so they can tell users where you exist. So next I'm gonna go over citations. I did some pretty substantial keyword research and I found that out of all of the services you offer, the highest hitting keyword currently is headshots near me, right? And so I'm based also in the Bay Area also in Oakland. So my computer knows that it's going to pull up. And this is where you would want to come up because this is one of the services you offer. You would want to pop up right up top here in this map pack. It's below the ads and it's the first thing a consumer or prospect will see. And the way that you get in this, these top, one of these top three spots is by one of the biggest ways is by really taking control of your citations and doing your research to get more than your competition. So a citation is anywhere your business name, number, and address are shown exactly as per your Google business profile. So if you don't already have a Google business profile, which is this right here, one of these, you definitely want to make one so that you can optimize this geo location and start ranking for this service and all your others in your area. So um, where you do these citations is in online directories like Yelp, Angie's List, Expertise, BBB. There are literally hundreds of others and you probably have heard of many of them. Social media accounts are great too. The reason they're so effective is they make it so that your brand begins to be found by Google all over the internet. The larger your online presence is, the more Google is going to trust you. And once Google starts to trust you and see you more often than your competition, the more likely they are to rank you above them and put you in one of these top three spots. 
So like I said, you want to research how many citations your competition has. I utilize a software name called Whitespark. It's a monthly subscription and you can look up each co competitor's site and you can see exactly how many citations they have so you know what number you need to beat out. And I would recommend not just matching but exceeding them by so much that they have no chance of catching up so that you can take hold of one of these top three spots and keep it. And lastly, I'm going to go over the importance of backlinks. So I'll pull you up here and I'll explain what this is in a moment. But first, a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another via clickable or hyperlink text. These links act like an endorsement of your website from others, which Google uses to build trust in your business by seeing others vouch for you. So a backlink as I just explained, impacts a page authority score, which you can see here, which impacts in turn your ranking in the organic results of a search engine result page. So below the map pack is the organic results. And of course, you want to get on this first page because we know no one is looking, nobody goes to the second, third, or definitely not the fourth and so on page of Google, right? You want to get on this first page because people trust who you know the rest the businesses that are on that first page the most they are going to see them as the most authoritative provider in that niche the most trustworthy the most competent you know the most capable so um now that you understand what it takes to get onto that first page of google i can give you a brief overview of your domain performance this is semrush it's an seo performance analysis software quite a mouthful. And one of the great things is that you can, so I can see that you have 14 backlinks. We, you know, you don't yet have an authority score. So that would absolutely be something to look more into and implement and optimize. I looked up your two top competitors in this niche are Ben Krantz and Nina Pomeroy. So Mr. Ben has 151 backlinks with an authority score of 29. He has a lot of citations because as you can see here, he's in this number one spot. And then Nina, she's really put a lot of resources into her backlinks and she has 984. Although because her page authority score is only 14, that tells me that they're not the most powerful backlinks. So I explained what a backlink is, but it's really important to understand that even though you get a bunch of endorsements, right, Google's gonna trust you, but your backlinks, they need to be topically relevant from sites that are trusted and powerful themselves. Not all backlinks are created equal just by simply being a backlink. They need to be on sites that are related to related to your services and also trusted by Google to really impact your page authority score here. So one of the most amazing things about this tool is that I can go into a competitor's backlinks, totally legal, and see what they are and then get the same or equally powerful links uh, for my own client. So it really just gives me a completely in-depth view of what they're using to get their power to get on that first page and then I can mimic it right and see where they're getting and if I can't get those exact links know what level of power I need and get an equally powerful link. So this is what I do for a living and I made this video to provide you with some foundational strategies tips and tricks. I really hope it was helpful thanks so much for taking the time to watch it. I'm going to leave you with my number you have my Facebook content and contact information and I look forward to hearing from you soon.